One recent case struck from the court roll is that of 20-year-old Shapulin Shaduka, who was a first-year UNAM student at the time of her murder in 2017. Shaduka was fatally stepped four times when an attempted theft of her baseball cap failed. She was killed about 100 meters from her residence in the Ombili residential area in Kadutura. The accused, 19-year-old Franz Nangolo, made his eighth appearance for the murder charge at the Kadutura Magistrates Court some two weeks ago. He was provisionally released from custody. Magistrate Atutala Shikalepo refused a request from the state prosecutor Ari Hasselman to further remand the matter and subsequently struck the matter from the court roll. Magistrate Shikalepo stated that the state does not have its house in order and is not serious with the matter. According to the deceased's mother, the state's control prosecutor had locked the docket in his office, thus made it unavailable for the court proceedings. <laughs> I was in tears. I could not believe that the court could do such a thing to release a murderer. It was a shock. I thought the law is there to help. I lost my child and the man is outside. I'll never get my child back. Prosecutor General Martha Imalwa confirmed to NBC News that the docket was indeed locked up in the office of the control prosecutor. Imalwa did not mince her words and castigated the prosecutors involved in the matter. We have now received the explanation from the two prosecutors who are involved and the copy of the, the record. My office is going to go through and I am going to deal with whoever have caused these delays because I have clear instructions to the prosecutors. According to Imalwa, the docket was sent back to the court officials because court records and transcriptions of bail were outstanding. The outstanding documents have since been attached to the docket and the Prosecutor General has decided on the 21st of February that the matter be re-enrolled to the court role and the accused be trialed at the regional court. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.